Hello, Hikari Asobi desu. Today we will be opening the Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Pot Collection. Zubo Collection. Yay! I think this is one of the strangest and one of the coolest Yu-Gi-Oh! product ever released. Drawing cards is such a valuable thing in the game. So this card was born. Pot of Greed, the card reads, draw two cards with no side effects at all. This card is way too OP and this card looks pretty cute and pretty memorable to be honest. This card is just way too powerful and unfortunately this card got banned. And after this card got banned, various other pots appear, including some of the two-faced pots. And today we will be going through all the pots in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Let's get right into this. Okay, so this is what the inside look like. We have the pot cards in the center. Mm. Nice parallel rare. Parallel ultra rare. Nice. And we have the pot figures inside the whole box. Okay, and now I will be putting all these pots together and we'll be going through them one by one. Okay, first of all, it's our almighty pot of greed. So it's really easy to assemble. Just so this belongs to here. Just put it there. And then you put this on. Put a handle on, nice. And you put it on the, you attach it to the base. Yeah, here we go. Here our first pot is done. Here, so. Yeah, such a powerful card. Draw two cards with no side effect at all, oh my god. Pot of Greed, Go Yokanatsubo, the origin of the pot. Yeah, this pot is very detailed made, very nice. Okay, looks like this, the back, side, and the top. You can probably put your pen in here or something. Cool, cool. And we have the Pot of Greed in Parallel Ultra Rare. Nice. This is the Pot of Origin. Very, very, very OP. Beautiful. Okay, so here is our second pot. This car is Kenkyo Natsubo. I think it's a pot of generosity. This card's effect is return two cards from your hand to your deck, then shuffle your deck. Seriously, like, this card is the totally opposite of the previous pot, Pot of Greed. Yeah, huh, interesting. Okay, so, it's also very easy to assemble. It's just this, put on top, and then attach it to the base. Okay, we all set. So, this pot is hmm, very humble and generous pot I believe I, I guess hmm. Hmm. yeah so the hole here okay cool yeah also like pretty detailed and made nice emotion though Okay, so here is our third part. This card is Don Yokunatsubo. So target five monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle all five into the deck. Then draw two cards. Pretty decent, pretty cool. Effect. I think this card is part of Avarice. So it's a it's an ugly pot, 
ugly, greedy pot, I guess. And yeah, it's also very easy to assemble. Let's put it on top. His tongue. Cool, cool. Pot of Avarice. Yeah, it's a pretty ugly, po ugly pot, but very cool, I think. The teeth is in different color. Nice tongue. Uh, yeah. This pot is cool. I like it. It first came out back in 2005 from EEN. Elemental Energy, I believe. It's a, it's a great card. Cool, cool. Yeah, Pot of Avarice. Okay, so our next part is Muyokuna Zibo. I think it's called Pot of Benevolence. The fact it's like um, you can only activate one pot of benevolence per turn, I believe. Um, select two cards from the graveyard and shuffle them into their owner's deck. After activation, remove this card from play instead of sending it to the graveyard. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. A pot with no desires. Okay, that's cool. And uh, so, I think it's uh, like this. Yeah. Put it on here. Attach it to the base. Yeah. Well, pretty tight. <laughs> cool, cool. So this pot looks like this, a pot with no desire. Cool. A pot with no desire seems interesting. Yeah. Cool. I rarely see this pot though. It's nice. Nice looking pot. Okay, our next pot is Kimmanatsubo. Pot of Riches. So you can only activate one pot of riches per turn and you cannot special summon the turn you activate this card except pendulum monsters. Pendulum summons. Okay, so it's a card for pendulum. Huh? So shuffle three pendulum monsters into the deck from your graveyard and or face up from your extra deck then draw two cards hmm not bad i guess pendulum can use it cool it's like a really rich looking pot nice so have the pot here put the pot put the, his eyes on there's a fork and a spoon i think <laughs> interesting okay Put the stuff on top. Yeah, here, stuck it in. Nice. Yeah, very rich pot, rich guy. Okay, wait. Okay. Nice. Okay, so this pot is a, such a big pot with, with a, a pot with a wide and big face and, uh, cool cool a hole here I think, yeah thanks it looks like the car at all oh, very much so yeah very nice detail and uh, completely captures the spots character. The next part is 
大欲な壺 part of acquisitiveness、cool. so same thing that like you can only activate one part of acquisitiveness per turn so targeted so targeted three banished monster f- from either player's banished zone shuffle all three into the deck then draw one card okay Not bad for banished. Cool.、Yeah. So here's the pot.、Uh, oh my god, this pot, this nose got t- detached. Oh my god, this pot has such a big nose. Oh my. And、uh, oh. Okay, oh. Oh my god, so this pot has two, two baits. Nice. Oh, this is easy to attach. Nice. Oh my god, this pot looks so funny. Ooh. 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 Okay, so. Part of acquis- acquisitiveness. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nicely done. Pot figure. Okay, so our next pot is our first two phase pot. Pot of duality. So you can only activate one pot of duality per turn. Ex- excavate the top three cards of your deck, add one of them to your hand. Shuffle the rest back into your deck. And then you cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card. Yeah, this card is very powerful back then and very good when the environment is slow. Cool. So. Yes, very easy to put together. Yeah, so this part is the combination of、uh, part of greed and part of generosity. I guess.、Uh, yeah, I think it's generosity. Cool. And yeah, this is also in, in this. I think this is one of the piece p a r t of part of greed. I think. Yeah, it will, be, it will, come, it will, it will come in later. Cool. Two phase. Nicely done. Duality. Beautiful. Yeah. Duality. It's a nice car. Nicely made. I like Harvey Two Face. <laughs> okay, so our next Two Face part is Don Yoku de Mu Yoku na Tsubu. Part of Avarice and Benevolence. Or part of. Division. So the fact is, when you activate this card this turn, you cannot go into your battle phase. Like, so at the start of your main phase one, you can target three monsters with different types in your graveyard, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw two cards. Hmm, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, so it's just like extravagance have to activate at the start of your main phase one. So, and there's no battle phase you activate this card. Pretty cool. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a part of avarice. Yeah, part of avarice is the, to- is the total. It's the totally. It's the opposite of、uh, part of、uh, benevolence. And part of greed is the totally the opposite of. Part of generosity. I think they just make the two totally opposite p a r t combine, which becomes a new entity. A two face, yeah. It's like exactly two face. Two opposite combine. Okay. Yeah. 
so part of avarice here, nice. Your tongue is on is on the center now. Cool. Part of division. Yeah. Part of division. Cool. Yeah, very nice looking part though. Okay, the next two phases. Goyoku de Tanyoku Nazubo. Part of desires. Nice. So, yeah, you can only activate one part of desires per turn. So, banish 10 cards from, your, from the top of, of your deck, face down, then draw two cards. Yeah, yeah, this part is like taking drugs. Like, this is a combination of two similar parts, like greed and avarice. Yeah, cool. Let's assemble this. See how it looks. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Ooh. Nice and simple. Yay. Part of desire. Greed and avarice. Nice. Well done, this part. Well done. Part of desires. Yeah, this car is, I've seen a lot of competitive play. Okay, our next dual part is Go Yoku de Kimana Zubo. Part of extravagance, nice. And I, I like that translation, it's really nice. So, at the start of, of your main phase one, banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck, face down. Draw one card, or for every three cards banished, for the rest of the, this turn after this card resolves, you cannot draw any cards by card effect. Cool, like draw two, but like, Unless, yeah, if you don't care too much about your extra deck, you can use it. Or, or like, you can just pray you don't banish your key extra deck monster face down. It's a nice car, for sure. But not every deck can use it. Okay. So, assemble it. Let's see. Easy and quick. Okay. Yeah, this part of riches has such a big face. Yeah, you even made part of greed fatter. Nice. Cool. Part of extravagance. Nice. Next, we have one of the best cards nowadays. Kim Man De Ken Kyo Na Zubo, Part of Prosperity. So, yeah, I guess we all know what this card does. So, yeah, you can only activate one part of Prosperity per turn. And you cannot draw cards by card effects until you activate this card. So, banish three or six cards of your choice from your extra deck, face down. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, like um, the damage your opponent take will be halved. Also, excavate the cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards banished and add one ex excavated card to your hand. And place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Just remember, like, uh, your the damage your opponent uh, you take will be half if, if your opponent uses this card. So you likely won't get OTK'd the same turn. Just remember that, yeah. A lot of people forgot about it. Cool, cool. Part of prosperity. Beautiful. So, this is the pot. We have part of riches. And the part of riches, a uh, big nose. Nice fork, spoon, like always. And uh, we have this part of generosity. Nice. Part of generosity and 
Pot of Riches. Yeah, this 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 is one of the best cards nowadays. One of the best pot nowadays. Like he doesn't even have Pot of Greed as part of it. But nice. Okay, but cool. Yeah, beautiful. Yay. Hmm. Ah, this pot is so good. Nice pot, nice pot, and a pot of prosperity. And this, yeah, this this pot is like this will probably be one of my favorite pot. Like. Okay, next we have Goyuk Natsubo no Sele, spirit, the spirit of the pot of greed. Nice, holy, it's a fairy type. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you do look like. Oh yeah, you 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 are very cute. You do look like more. You do look more like a fairy than a than, than a fiend. Okay. Cool. So this car is like when this car is in face up attack position on the field, if a player activates part of greed, uh, the player can draw one more card. Yeah. You are very cute. You are very cute. Put it here. Oh my god, this is a exact- oh shoot, sorry. This is a exact match, nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Our next pot related car is Goyokuna Utsubo. Moray of Greed. So this card is a, it's a shuffle two water monster from your hand into the deck. Then draw three cards. Uh, good, good, good. Unbreak yourself. Cool, cool. Nice Moray. And yes, we have this giant pot of greed eel. Oh my god, this is so cute. Moray. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. Looks like uh, he's coming out from here too, I think. Holy. Or this. Or like this. <laughs> nice. Cool, cool. This is so cute. Our last pot related card is Shard of Greed. Goyukuna Kakira. This card is each time you draw a card from for your normal draw in your draw phase, place one greed counter on this card. You can send this card with two or more greed counters to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Nice. Like a slower version, like a slow version of Pot of Greed. Still cool though. And uh, here is the Kakeda, the shard. Peace. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's a piece from Pot of Greed. And. Oh my god, it is. It is what it is. Here is an assembly of all the pots. Oh my god, they look absolutely amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.